All right, so today we want to look at a very important lesson in Algebra 1, and that's solving for a specific variable. You're going to use this technique throughout Algebra and also a lot in um, other applications like science and physics and chemistry and um, all over the place. You're going to find uh, solving for an equation for a specific variable. Um, in this case, we want to solve this equation 3x minus 4y equals 7 for the variable y. Uh, to isolate y, what we're going to do is first get this term by itself. So let's get the 3x on the other side by subtracting it from both sides. We're going to get negative 4y equals 7 minus 3x. Now, in order to um, get that y by itself, what we want to do is divide both sides by negative 4. We're going to end up with y equals 7 minus 3x over negative 4. Personally, I don't like the negative on the bottom, so I'm going to go ahead and change that to um, by multiplying both the top and the bottom by negative 1. So if I multiply the top by negative 1, I get negative 7 plus 3x. If I multiply the bottom by negative 1, I get 4. So my answer is y equals negative 7 plus 3x over 4. Or I could also write that 3x minus 7 over 4. You usually see the variable come first. So this is my uh, final answer. All right, so now we have a bit more complicated one. And let's say we want to solve this for m. Uh, we've got 2m minus t equals sm plus 5. Again, let's get the m terms on one side. So let's take sm from both sides. We get 2m minus sm minus t equals 5. Now let's uh, add this t to both sides. We get 2m minus sm equals 5 plus t. Now the m terms are on one side. The non-m terms are on the other side. Uh, we can't combine 2m and sm because we can't subtract 2 and s, but what we can do is factor out an m. So we would have m times the quantity 2 minus s equals 5 plus t. Now we can divide both sides by this 2 minus s uh, quantity. And we're going to end up with m equals 5 plus t over 2 minus s. Another way we can write that is m equals t plus 5 over um, negative s plus 2. Uh, you could also write that as let's see, negative t uh, plus or negative t minus 5 over uh, s minus 2. If I take uh, these by negative 1, any of those answers uh, is going to be the correct way to solve for m. Now we know that the uh, circumference of a circle is given by 2 pi r. But what if we knew the circumference and we wanted to find the radius? We'd have to solve that equation for the radius. So let's go ahead and divide both sides by 2 and by pi. So my circumference divided by 2 pi is going to be what gives me r, or the radius. And that's how we solve that equation for r. And finally, let's look at the equation for free fall, uh, d equals 1 half at squared. What if we wanted to solve that for a? Well, if we multiply both sides by 2, we can get rid of that 1 half fraction. And we have 2d equals at squared. Now if we divide both sides by t squared, we're going to end up with a is equal to 2d over t squared. And we successfully solved that equation for a. And with that, we're going to conclude our uh, lesson on solving equations for a specific variable.